Moderna's FDA approval means nursing home residents and staff here in Hawaii are poised to get vaccines later this month. Hawaii health officials are using pharmacy chains, CVS and Walgreens to administer the Moderna vaccine to about 80 long-term care facilities in the state. KITV4's Annalisa Burgos now joins us live in the newsroom to explain what that process could look like. Annalisa. That's right. A Department of Health spokesman tells me that CVS and Walgreens employees will start giving the first Moderna shots at senior care facilities on December 28th. Residents go first, followed by staff. Now, for the 1,600 or so smaller community care homes, vaccines will come from the Department of Health, which is still finalizing its outreach and distribution plan. For the past 10 years, Sheila Black has lived at Arcadia, a senior living facility. She has not had COVID-19, but says the pandemic made everything difficult. It's ruined our whole social life. The 78-year-old says she can't wait to get the vaccine. I'm waiting patiently, but anxiously, because uh, how can you not take it? You know, the, the vaccine is probably one of our biggest weapons, and this is a war that we're battling. It's a weapon Arcadia president and CEO Susie Schulberg is eager to deploy. She says about 80% of her residents and 70% of employees want to be vaccinated. We are in the process of talking with our contact at Walgreens of how it's going to work. Um, right now, we do interval testing on a regular basis with Premier Medical Group, and we do it outside. So we're thinking we're going to ask Walgreens, okay, if we do it the same way, that way, nice ventilation, we can physically distance. We're going to have to figure it out for our nursing home residents because we don't necessarily want to take them out of the environment. Going to an outside clinic to get a vaccine is not an option for residents of this licensed care home in Kalihi Valley. Owner and registered nurse Erlinda Ferrer says she's waiting to hear from the Department of Health on how vaccines will be given to her clients, many of whom are bedridden. As a part-time nurse at Kapiolani Medical Center, she didn't have to wait. She received the Pfizer vaccine yesterday. Being in the medical uh, field, I should take it. And first of all, I am a frontliner. Second, I do a care, I'm a caregiver and I have elderly in my family, so I need to protect myself and protect the community. She's also talking to her clients' families about their concerns and hopes her experience will persuade others to get it too. They should not be scared um, if they can see mostly the first people that the first uh, that uh, received the vaccine are all in the medical um, uh, field. So far, so good, she reports, no side effects, and her initial worries about long-term effects have given way to a bigger purpose. I have good faith. I don't think nothing will happen. God is um, helping us. And faith is on her side. A Department of Health vaccine team member tells me that they're considering allowing licensed care home operators or contracting private medical teams to give shots in care homes. And if approved, that would ease the process of ensuring that those who are most vulnerable to the coronavirus can get the vaccine everyone seems to be clamoring for. Reporting live, Annalisa Burgos, KITV4 Island News. Thank you, Annalisa.